How much are you asking on that? A uh, five. Take four for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if you don't take it, I might put it back in the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving me proper nostalgia. You sure you don't want to keep it before I buy it? No, go on, go for it. You sure? <laughs> no, it's not hers anyway. Okay. <laughs> it is mine. Good morning, we are back at the boot sale and we're looking for bargains, but the Devon microclimates have struck again. It's been lovely driving over here. Literally, it's less than 10 minutes from my house. Absolutely lovely blue skies. And I just turned the corner and the fog has rolled in here. I, don't, I, could, I almost missed the turning for the boot sale. It was that foggy. So yeah, this is what you have to deal with. Um, you might see it on the video in a second. This fog has really rolled in this morning. Come out of nowhere. Be interested in like a job lot, doing them a bit cheaper, and take them all. Um, how many is this? This is four, six, eight, twelve, eighteen. I've got a fiver each on them. I'd probably, if I took them all, I could do three pound each on them. And then you'd have none left. I'd just take them all. Uh, yeah, well, that's how I am. Yeah, that's right. Yeah? Yeah. 18, 36, 46, 52. 50, 54. 54, yeah. Yeah, that's that right. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, cool. At least he gets rid of them all in one shot, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. TV last night. Oh yeah, from yesterday. Seven hours ago it said. What was that? Yeah. Was, uh, that was yesterday morning, so yeah. Room, yeah. You say four on so it. How much yeah. is that lot? Just that lot. Um, so I'll do six on you that. You sure lot. you don't want to keep it before I buy it? No, go on, go for it. You sure? <laughs> yeah. No, it's not hers anyway. Okay. It is mine. <laughs> that would be four. Alright. What have you got on your Indiana Jones for? Fifteen. Fifteen on that. Three 
Yeah. Uh, 20. Is this the early edition? Because they've changed it since then? Because of child yeah, safety? I bought both those. Is that your price on that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the really yeah. fancy Boba Fett. Yeah, yeah I love the bag. Oh what, the respirator? Have a sec. Yeah. Yeah. You got any room on it? Uh, little green man. Grogu. Grogu. Yes. What's that? Uh, uh, That's a ticket, bus, ticket bus conductor's machine, and it works. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you got any 50. room on it? No, I can't. Yeah. Just yeah. 15. Yeah, if I make a pile, I'll have yeah. to do all of that lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, they look all right. Did you do three each, Thomas? No. Hello, my dear. Hello. I'm not going to go these times. Oh, you Oh no. Go on, I'll take those. Thank you, I'll take them. No, oh, right. Take that one for a pound, That's please. Perfect, Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Thank you. Which is your book, please? Do a quid on it. Yeah. Nice one. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. I'll take the hands if that's all right. Three pound. Oh yeah, sure. They do work. <laughs> cool. Nice one. That's perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. <coughs> Would you take four on your hat? Um, yeah, go on. Nice one. Yes, thank you. How much have you got on that one, please? Five. Five. How much are your Wii games, mate? How much are games? 50 each, mate. Do you take four on it? Yeah, go on then. Nice one. Yeah. Would you do something on the set here if I bought How many open? is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what's that, 14? Yeah. So 12. Did you go a tenner? 11. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's just like what you need to finish the job. <laughs> Have you got a tenner? Uh, yes, I do actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. yeah, it's only about six months old, that one. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, I'll put it in the boot just to. Um, that's all right. Remember where we are. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. That's all right. Cheers. I'll take this one, please. Yes, yeah, sure. Two pounds. Right. Cheers. That's perfect. Thank, Thank you. You. <laughs> you. You can't get them. You, just... you go any lower on them, and I'll take them all off you. 
What are you thinking? 15. We'll split it at 18. Okay. I'll put them in a bag. Yeah. No, I've got a bag. A I've got a bag, there, thank I can you. Tell you got yourself a bag in there. It's unusual, aren't they? They're very, yeah, they are like a sleeve. You've got a bag? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Cheers, Look appreciate it, appreciate Look it, thank you, yeah. yeah. They feel like, oh, they don't it, really. But yeah. These are lashes, mummy! Mummy, Linda, Linda, Linda. Yeah, they, they, they've all got your move, seat. Moving parts. Yeah. And the, and the girl, she's got a roll of it. How much is your fleece? Uh, they're all four quid each, the tops, mate. Okay. I'll take this one, please. Well, the fog lifted pretty quick, thankfully, and it's a lovely day. Time to top up the tan, I think, this afternoon. Um, we're gonna head back anyway, and we'll reconvene, see what we found, and uh, stay tuned. Here we go. This is everything uh, picked up at today's car boot sale. There is some more stuff underneath there. Uh, we'll just get straight in. Let's do the clothing first, get that out of the way. I picked up two golf um, polos. This one's an Adidas, and these come from um jamaica west indies sandals resort possibly that one um maybe they've got a golf club over there or something by the looks of it so i paid four pound each for these i think they're going to be worth um about 20 to 25 each that one's adidas 2xl this one is a greg norman also 2xl and um it's just got this sort of classic golf sort of design, diamond design. And then on the arm, we've got, again, it's from Sandals Resort Golf and Country Club Jamaica. Um, so, yeah, nice condition, £4 each, maybe 20 to 25 on those. Um, now, this was a nice-looking um, fleece. It's a nebulous 90-degree North Polar Challenge. Um, it looks like this is kind of a Sweden flag. I think that's Sweden. It looks like a Sweden flag there. Um, whether that is significant in some way. It's also got the flag inside the hood. But it's a really nice condition fleece. And on the back, it's also got this nebulous um, challenge thing. Explore the Arctic. Um, I only paid £4 for that. I think we could be looking at 25 to 30 pound on the fleece. Pop that over there. Right, what should we do next? Let's do these, get these out of the way. These are Wreck-It Ralph hands. And a bit like the Hulk smash ones, you know you can get the Hulk hands. Um, I've never seen these Wreck-It Ralph ones before. And that's why I picked them up. Oh, little, little crap there on there. Hopefully not too bad. But they do work. They make a noise when you smash them. A bit like Hulk smash glove hand things. £3 paid. Uh, I think they're worth about £15, those. I picked up a, an Alexa. I need to check which version this is. Um, but I do pick these up if I can get them sort of for less than a fiver. Because they do sell. And normally you can kind of get around uh 20 ish pound maybe 20 to 25 pound on one of these yeah need to check it need to make sure it's been unhooked and all that business from uh, the previous owner normally it's it's pretty simple 
Uh, what else have we got here? I've got this one. This is a Sully from Monsters, Inc. He has a handle on the back. of hand. I've had one of these before. Um, he also has a pull string. And it kind of swings his arms and like, walks or something. Um, but I need to check the batteries and stuff, make sure that's all okay. Uh, not worth massive money, but I paid a pound, so money's safe for sure. I think probably worth about a tenner or so. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no, I thought his horn had broken, but it's not. They're intact. Oh, there you go. Good. Um, yeah, I, I might put that on whatnot and see if anyone's interested on there. I might do a whatnot on that. All right, you can shut up now, wreck it. Um, I picked up this Green Bay Packers hat. This is quite nice. It's a salute to service hat. You can see here, salute to service. These are nice. Uh, paid £4 on that one. Uh, I think we're looking at around £25 on this hat. I might list it a bit higher and just see what happens, but I think in the end, I'll probably get 25 for that. Uh, let's get this one out of the way as well. Um, this is a nice little vintage Donald Duck uh, money box or piggy bank. What price did he have on this? I think I think it's worth about fifteen to twenty pound. There's one listed much higher than that, but actually, solds wise, they're going for less than that. So two pound paid. I was always going to pick that up. You know what I'm like with this kind of stuff. Vintage Disney. It's always coming back with me. Um, two quid, bargain. Uh, okay, let's look at these these um, Marvel figures. It's a shame they're not all Guardians of the Galaxy because I recently sold a bundle of Guardians of the Galaxy ones. I think you can get about £30, £35 if you've got almost all of them. Uh, but there is a few there. One, two, three, four from Guardians of the Galaxy, I think maybe um but what i'll probably still do is i'll probably still bundle these together and just put them all together on ebay and i paid 11 pound they were two pound each but we did a, a bungle deal 11 pound uh, i'm still hoping to to get sort of 30 to 40 on the whole bungle but it's my kind of thing so uh, not marvel obviously i'm not really a, a fan of marvel other than guardians of the galaxy but figures and toys and movie stuff, that's what I like picking up. Let's have a look here. We've got a Yamaha keyboard, vintage. Let's have a look at it. And it does have issues. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. It cost me £4 and the lady was going to keep it. I did give her the option to keep it before I bought it. I said, do you, do you want to keep it? Are you sure? Sure you want to sell it? And she was happy, so... Four pound bought it now. A couple of issues with it, and I've not tested it, so it could even not be working. Who knows? A couple of issues for some reason. I don't know why you would do that, but they've scratched the um the notes on the on the keyboard. Why? Oh, that's just it's sacrilege, isn't it? It's the the stickers are one thing. That's fine, but to scratch it on. Anyway, I'll have to list it like that. There's no fixing that. There's absolutely no fixing that. Um, an unusual keyboard, though. Never seen one of these before. Um, the other issue it has is the back cover is missing. So that's a bit of a ball ache as well. But I knew that when I bought it and I still decided to pick it up. It's a Yamaha Porter sound. And when you have a look at the prices on these, they're actually all over the place. But I think with the condition of this one, I'm probably going to aim for about £30, £35. Um, yeah, I'm going to aim for that. For a £4 spend, it's still all right. Now, let's have a look at these pop figures. Because we did a bungle on the stall. Um, the guy on the stall had these listed at £5 each. And I just said to him, on the off chance, and I really didn't expect him to accept the offer, but... I said, what about if I take all of them at £3 each? And that way you get rid of the good, the bad and the ugly. Because there are some in there that are not really worth hardly anything. Um, most of them are worth decent money. Um, so, yeah, the, we were happy with that. £3 each, £54, 18 pop figures. So everyone's happy with that. They get 54 quid in one go. I get to <laughs> list these. Um, now... 
most of them are pretty pretty decent pop figure um figures like prices um but most of them are worth sort of a fair 10 to 15 pound i think it would be fair to assume that most of them are worth that which for a three pound spend each and it bulks out my store with more movie stuff i'm happy with that these two at the top i think are the two standout ones we've got whitney houston here and the one from skyrim as well these seem to be worth a little bit more so we might be able to get over 20 pound on each of these which will help us with our profit margins get a bit more back so yeah i'm happy with those a nice little bungle on the pop figures. Now, the last thing I'm going to share with you is this little lot. These are puppets. String pu puppets. Now, the disappointing thing is this one is missing its handle, uh, which I was really disappointed with when I got it out. I didn't spot it when we were doing a deal. We did £18 for the four. And the, I'll tell you what they are. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Oh, jeez. Oh. They're made by Daniel Oates, and I've never heard of them, to be honest with you. Um, but they are vintage. Most of them are 90s. Um, and the reason I picked them up is they are really well made. They are solid plastic, really nicely done. And you can just feel sometimes when something is quality. And actually, these um, are going to be worth, hopefully, each around 30 to £50. Pound. And I'm giving it quite a wide range because the, the prices are all over the show. But it does look like they do sell pretty well. So, yeah, I don't actually know what that is. Is it some kind of mermaid or something? Uh, yeah, we've got a unicorn there, which is missing its cross. It's missing this, which is really annoying. So I might have to sacrifice a bit of profit on that one. But this one is okay. This one's cute, kind of a little dragon thing, but really nicely done, you know, quality. This is 1997, this one. So I've got some good age to it. And then the last one is this wizard fella. And I don't even know how puppeteers do this. It is difficult, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I paid £18 for the four. I'm thinking um, for the three that are complete, maybe um sort of 30 to 50 very wide range and um the one that's incomplete i'm not sure on that one but con considerably less i would think um it's missing this thing which is annoying isn't it unless i can get a replacement it might be worth me seeing if anyone's selling those you never know d on ebay you never know it looks like he's putting two fingers at me there that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. If you made it to the end, you're an absolute star. You are a super fan. If you're interested in anything before I list it on eBay, feel free to drop me a comment um, over on Instagram or Facebook and we'll always do a deal. No problem. See you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye. Thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you want to catch up on another one of my videos, you can try one like this or one like this. They're both good ones. Uh, give it a go. Or you can subscribe by pressing this button here. There you go. See you later.